The Algera family's business acumen dates back to pearl diving in the early 20th century. Now, the family's portfolios include metal manufacturing, packaging solutions, and real estate, to name but a few. The family also has a long history of providing education in the United Arab Emirates. What began with humble initiatives led to the launch of a foundation now run by Abdul Aziz Al Gurair in his father's name. With an aim to provide education opportunities for 15,000 Arab and Emirati youth, the Abdullah Al Gurair Foundation for Education was established in 2015. As well as being chairman of the foundation, Abdul Aziz Al Gurair is also chairman of the board of directors at the Mashrek Bank. I met with him in Dubai to discuss his family's philanthropic endeavors. Instead of now giving scholarship to students, is there a better way of giving better education to our population here in the Arab world? And we thought, let's promote open learning. Open learning means that you can get your degree from online universities. We thought this was a brilliant idea and we got stuck with our regional government because they will not accredit any degree coming from online university. So we start communicating with our Ministry of Higher Education. So now I'm happy to say that UAE have endorsed the top 200 university in the world. If they give you an online degree, be it bachelor or master, they will be accredited and you can use that degree for job application. You've recently been elected chairman of the Mashrek Bank. What are some of the challenges you see going forward in the finance world here? The finance is an evolving challenge. Uh, every day the economy is changed and we have to have products, tools, services to, to service these uh, requirements. So the country is evolving, moving digital, and the customer is also demanding convenience. So all our institutions in the region here have to also go digital. So I think these services uh, will evolve and the technology will evolve and customer demand will evolve. And we've seen what online companies doing to the, to, the, you know, to the retailers. So this will evolve. How do you think that will impact on the workforce, on jobs? It is changing. I mean, uh, you know, a, a simple job will disappear uh, because uh, artificial intelligence and robotics will take over. So I think we will need to have more uh, of critical thinking, uh, education, people who can analyze issues, uh, have solution for these issues, and more of they have to jumpstart their career. Our Arab world is having now, we have 30% of our university graduates are unemployed because the output of some of the university doesn't match the requirement of the job. So I think this integration between university and you know, uh, uh, labor market is critical to ensure there is good quality graduate who will match the work requirement. So there is a disconnect now. Thank you for watching and for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.